The article featured in today's video is brought to you by IGN.com, a fantastic gaming news site that has the most friendliest and kindest editors and journalists on the entire web. For gaming and news, head on to IGN.com that also has the best podcasts for Unlocked for Xbox fans, Podcast Beyond for PlayStation fans, and Nintendo Voice Chat for Nintendo fans. Be sure to visit the link in the description below for more detail. Now, on to today's topic. What's up everyone, it's Tech Trooper 64 and today I have a video talking about an updated status on the whole Ubisoft versus Vivendi's payout. Or should I say buyout? Yeah, that's the better word. But anyways, uh, according to an article that was posted today on IGN, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. According to an article, Vivendi has ruled out the hostile takeover of the Ubisoft company for the next six months after the release of the third quarter earning reports. Reuters reports that Vivendi has made the decision due to its quarter earnings before interest, tax, and amortization came in at 293 million euros rather than projected 324 euros, a million euros. Sorry. Ubisoft, on the other hand, is a 96% since January increase and has beaten the sales target for a record high for the company. The company has been fighting a potential takeover from Vivendi since 2016 when a hostile takeover bid was backed by Gameloft. Earlier this year, Ubisoft also promoted a buyback program to regain control of its stock to prevent a media conglomerate from taking over. So I gotta say, this is great to hear that Ubisoft will remain independent and not owned by another company. Because, oh my god, I was actually worried that Vivendi would take over Ubisoft. And as most conglomerates would, they would control every living shit of Ubisoft. But anyways, I am very glad to hear that Ubisoft has control again and they don't have to worry. Well, at least not until, you know, uh, Vivendi's thing you know his, their income goes up but anyways let me know your thoughts in the comments down below do you think that ubisoft should stay independent or do you think that vivendi should have bought them out when they had the chance be sure to rate comment favorite and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace